Hey everybody, it's Double Dippin' King here with Vapor Review Blog. Today we're going to be talking about the Da Vinci Ascent. Hope you enjoy. I think the packaging looks nice. It, I it is say. packed. I'm it's I'm packed very, very nice well. Pack. This thing is solid. It feels like it can support its own weight very well. Oh. They had a little card that says basically like us on Facebook, a sticker that says Ascent by right. Da Vinci. It's, it's black as you can see. There's a small manual in there that's in English, and it's four pages long. Um, you know, the very last page is all warranties, and then there's some warnings about batteries, shipping batteries. There's a, a little black pouch in there. It's a soft felt that says Ascent by Da Vinci, and it's, it's tiny little things that I really like because, you know, it protects the unit from getting scuffed and scratched if you're carrying it around. Those are extra screens. I don't know why the, I don't see anywhere in the unit that put screens. There's a little extra metal poker in there, and those little black caps that they added later on in the design process. Um, the charger, good to note, is labeled Ascent by Da Vinci, and is the same connector as the Da Vinci, but the chargers are uh, rated differently, so you, I don't mix the chargers. I don't know if you can or cannot, but I do not. Um, in this box, is the extra glass mouthpiece as well as the internal glass stem so this is the extras that they that i was telling you about that they include which is great because if yours breaks you know you can't use the unit maybe if the mouthpiece breaks i don't know but if the stem breaks that's your f you know that's your screen and you can't do anything they include two of these little oil cans this is where i was trying to figure out if they were plastic or glass and uh, when I was smacking them together, I figured out that they sounded like glass. And the oil cans, the top stays on pretty well. There's a little indent in the middle where you can use the poker tool to open it up. You can also use your fingers, as you can see. Um, the poker tool is actually used to pull the can out of the uh, chamber if it's too hot. So, I mean, they, they really they think of everything. And they included everything. That's that's where it shows that they really care about the value of what you get, rather than just the unit itself. Um, that was an empty, empty housing for the uh, the glass stem that was already in the unit. And so, you know, when you take it apart to clean, you can always pack stuff away when you're not using it. Um, this is the unit itself. This is uh, this is when I figured out that it's you know much heavier, much heftier than I was expecting it. Uh, over there on the side, you can see the new clasping mechanism, as well as how it opens and the chamber right there. Now, when you're looking at it, it just looks ceramic. It doesn't look, it doesn't look like there's a glass liner in there, but you can feel it in there. And you can actually say I pointed out the new seals around it, around both sides. as well as that little uh, little nub you can see on the uh, on the bottom half where it fits in and that helps it lock a little bit more securely so you don't have to be worried about this thing swinging open in your pocket or in your backpack or anything I can't imagine how it would because it has such a secure seal I was pointing to the power button there on top and uh, the, the power button let me see Oh, it's got uh, it's got that same kind of click to it. You have to push it in a little deeper than you'd expect, but it's definitely the same kind of click. Oh, there's the glass mouthpiece. As you can see, it just comes right out. And there's the poker tool right above the mouthpiece opening. So that actually gets pulled right out of there. I think I pulled it out a little bit there. And uh, this is what it looks like. The poker tool actually says Ascent by Da Vinci on it. And I'll have a picture of that, which is pretty cool they put a lot of attention to detail into making this thing there it is turning on it's got a little startup animation and then it goes straight to heating to whatever the last temperature was uh, minus sets of Fahrenheit you can do Fahrenheit or Celsius it's got a plus button on top of it it's got the uh, settings button followed by the minus button, and that's for adjusting settings, adjusting temperature, and navigating the menus as well in the instructions it explains.